I'm wearing a cap and bark, some dragon bites me. He is very vicious. But when I take my cap off, he recognises me. This is Ben, my puppy. He is four months old. And um, I hope he'll turn out into a good sheepdog in the future. Join in the festive spirit with Sing Carols, tonight at 9.30 on BBC One. Bob and Thelma are preparing to enjoy the Christmas festivities, but surely they've not forgotten Terry. Classic comedy with the likely lads on BBC Two in five minutes. So now on BBC Two we go straight back to profile another man and his dog. I go trailing nearly every Saturday. Sometimes you take on two or three trails on the one day. So it's definitely in the blood. <laughs> These two dogs have only been running together now for about a month and it takes a lot longer than that there to get dogs ready for doubles but I'll have to take my chance and see what happens. Get up Cap, way down. Running doubles, right down, you're just right basically down, trying to do the same course as the singles only you have to have the two dogs running together and blending together, they're bonded together. Hopefully that's what you're trying to get. Get up, lay down Dan. Cap. That's a strong, forceful type down. of dog, and he wants to Steady. keep pushing on all the time. Lay down, Cap. Lay down, you there. Come by, Dan. Come by. Come by. Lay down, Cap. Come by, Dan. If there's sheep Cap. about at all, he Cap, has to up. go to them. Cap, get up. He would work Cap, all day, Steady, every day, Steady, and Cap. you couldn't Cap. tire him out. Either. Dan. Dan, Dan is a, he's a Dan. lovely tempered Dan, dog, good nature. Dan, Dan. Wouldn't just be as strong as Cap, but Steady. he's got plenty of power as well. The state of farm is very bad at the minute. We thought last year was bad. Prices have halved in both sheep and cattle and the BSE crisis. Like it's very, very hard in this country at the minute. Dan. This land has been in my family for over a hundred years and like I don't know what's going to happen when I go. I've got three sons there and they're none of them interested in farming. And I'm not pushing them to come into farming because I know there's no future in it. I've decided to diversify now into a dog training centre and I've built new kennels and I hope to train young men how to handle the dog. Just feeding these puppies milk for the first time. Uh, I start feeding them about three weeks of age. They're lapping away at it here. I sell about six or seven dogs every year and maybe two or three men ring me back and say the dog's not doing this or it's not doing that. And I find out at the end of the day that the men can't handle dogs. When people buy a dog from me now in the future, They'll have to come in here to classes that I'll be running and I'll hopefully teach them how to handle a dog. So if it's going to its left round this way, I would 
keep saying, come by, come by, and then go around and meet it, and to say, away to me, away to me. That learns it left and right. I just have this love of dogs and want to work dogs, and that's it. They understand that I'm happy when I'm out with them. They know when I'm not pleased by the tone of my voice. And, well, they do their best to please me anyway. Your complete attention, if you please. Who are you, sir? Orson Welles, sir. A compelling insight into the making of the most acclaimed movie of all time. That's your title. Citizen Kane. I'll write it. There's only one person in the world to decide what I'm going to do, and that's me. We will buy this movie, and we will destroy it. Rosebud. Paying homage to Citizen Kane, RKO 281, followed by the great film itself, Christmas Day from 10.15 on BBC Two. We will astonish them all.